In this video, putting your other syncopations outside of your normal triple step or your normal triple timing to your West Coast Swing basics. And then of course, you, once you've done that, it's quite simple to add them to your more advanced patterns or movements. So let's invite Kerry in. We're gonna start out with a starter step. We're not gonna do a kickball or anything on the starter for now, that will be in another video. We'll start out with triple rhythm, triple step, triple step. Now I'm gonna go kick, ball change, and then send carry out, and then anchor step. So if we do that again, and triple step, triple step, kick, ball change, triple step, triple step. So uh, let's do that from this way. And one and two, three and four, kick ball change, triple step, triple step, and triple, triple, kick ball change, triple step, triple step. Knowing that the sweep, the swivel up and the heels, all of those can be substituted for that kick ball change. So because we're starting in closed frame, after I've done my triple, triple step, triple step, I'm sending carry away, kick, and I'm opening up my body. This is not the only way you can do it, but if I go kick ball change and I'm perpendicular, then it's really easy for carry to know that it's gonna be a slingshot throw out because it's gonna bring her forward and then send her through. So we'll just show that one more time and I'm doing without the, the triples. I'm doing the toes up, heels oh, okay, nice. kick just to show you. Kick, I'm sorry. that's okay. Kick, ball change, triple step, triple step. And then when you release the girls entirely up to you, you could stay in close frame. Kick, ball change, triple step, triple step. Kick, ball change, triple step, triple step. Now you see there, Kerry said, oh, I can do a little rotation here. Uh, add a little bit of flair to the uh, dance. If I was to do it in open frame, and let's say I wanted to do a side pass, and one and two, three and four, five and six. Then so I did a kick ball change and change it to sweep. I did a sweep, so I'm gonna do that again. And one and two, three and four, five, six. I'll do uh, up on the heels this time. Seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five and six. So I could kick ball that, I'll just show it this way so people can see it. Kick, ball change, triple step, triple step. I added my little sweep in there. So as a follow, I took care of all of those different syncopations we're talking about in the different times that we demoed. Yeah, um, and you can see that sweep action can make my movement, if I wanted to accent a one on the music or there was nice hold in the lyrics or a big strum in the guitar, I could sweep that out and really hit that sound. All right, so um, do you want to do the yeah, why not? Uh, I'm going to do my little <laughs> duck feet swivel out. All right, seven, eight, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. I did my lift of the knee for the hitch. We'll do it from this way just because we can. <laughs> one and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. One of the things I will say about this movement is that you're going to have to adapt for each other because you're going to feel like your body position has changed based on the normal timing. If I do normal timing, one, two, you see, it felt really normal for me. It probably felt pretty normal for Kerry even though she added the kickball. Actually, I sweat and that okay. allowed me to adjust my body coming into that cool. shaping. Now I'm going to add a... I don't know what I did on the heel, the swivels. Mm -hmm. Swivel, and then around, and go step. Are we done from this one? Not quite yet. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. I think one of the best tips I can give here is I stay really relaxed. I've already said to Kerry, I'm leading you down the track, and I let her come to me, rather than me worrying about where I am, I'm concentrating on my timing. My rhythm sets my timing. I've done a syncopation, and then I'm going to go back to a triple rhythm timing there, which is another syncopation. And one and two, three and four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. So boom, ha ha. I kept that very in place, or more in place. And then just when here she comes, I opened my body to clear the slot. Girl owns the slot most of the time, <laughs> and I'm able to go. Um, did I leave anything out there? Well, I did the little knee hitch, the yeah. sweeps, kicks. I know that Shane did several of them as we went on, but we did sugar push, starter, side pass, and whip. Did we do a tuck? We didn't do a tuck. All right, I love the tucks in West Coast Swing with syncopation because I can really use it by adding in the laser holds to my movement after I've hitched. And one and two, three and four, five and six, a basic timing there once I've got over my hitch. And one and two, three and four, five and six. A little tip there, when I do a hitch, one, uh, two, so I go to the side, so the girl doesn't have to travel as far, catch, and send the girl around. I think that'll just make it easier. Don't think that you always have to be traveling very far. Sometimes it's about the timing or the rhythm. One and two, three and four, five and six. Because if I'm on rhythm and the girl can feel the movement through the connection, it doesn't matter how much I travel. One and two, three and four, five and six. Now I'd like to demonstrate that where I'm not going, I'm going to actually do my syncopation on the three, four. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So I bring that in as a tap. I don't actually wait it. Three, and tap. That's another way to do your kickball change. So what we've done in this video is taken our syncopations of our kickball change, our hitch of the knee, our toes up and swivel, and also our ronde, and we've substituted our one two for those syncopated movements knowing very well that you can syncopate on the three and four the five six and also if it's an eight count kind of seven eight any two bit increment you can install that in but in this video we put that on your one and two so have fun playing with that and sprinkling it around in your social dance